Showtime here, Mag Bay. This is it. Buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips. I made it to Magdalena Bay down here in Baja Sur, Mexico, and just absolutely loving life. It's Thursday, November 4th, 2021, and made the trek down. Drove the solo skiff down on the rack, on the Raptor with Mr. Bill Brown. Thank you, Bill, for taking me along on another Bill adventure. And we're about to get some in the mangroves today. We're taking the solo skiff out, which I fished in the mangroves in Florida. And now I'm fishing the mangroves here in Mexico. So I got the fish finder. I got the Garmin ready to go. I got the drone in the bag. I got my tiller extension to be able to mash standing up. I got a little Rapala to troll right here with the metal bill. I got my crocodile and I got my plastic. See what we can make happen here. Let's get it, living the dream, doing it. Before we get into the video today, make sure you hit that like button and let's, let's get this. Yoo. This is Florida style with the paddle. Get this Merc fired up. So here we go on the maps, it's super foggy. So I can't see anything, but on the maps, I know where to go thanks to some of the locals. Super nice people down here. Everywhere I go, everyone's really nice with sharing info about fishing spots and catching fish. So we're here right now, and all the mangroves that we're gonna head to are up in this area. So I gotta go around this corner and then, and then go around and up to these mangroves. This actually stretches 70 miles all the way up here with all these different bocas and openings. So that's the name of the game today is gonna be these mangroves, Mag Bay mangroves. Hopefully some snook, some snapper. We'll see, all the pongas are launching here. Stay out of their way. So here we go, let's get it, living the dream.
I've seen him out in San Diego before. Oh man, he needs to mother shit me out there. Dang! That's wild and crazy. It's such a small world. I've seen that boat in San Diego before. He came up to me out on the water and said, hey, you need a quesadilla? You want some Wi-Fi? Sean, I believe, is the captain. That is so sick. Swordfish, one of the best sword fishing boats in San Diego. They're down in here in Mag Bay. Dang, maybe hook up with them for a mothership trip. But we're gonna go fish the mangroves today. Wow, that was wild. I see a rainbow! I've been motoring for about an hour and I've first come to my first mangrove right here but I'm not gonna fish it the locals told me about some spots further up here now I'm gonna go ahead and fish get around these corner I think it's actually past this point this one here I got to keep going okay we've got the mangroves but we're not at the spot yet I've been doing about with the tide coming in, I've been able to do about 13 and a half miles an hour all the way down. Look at how glassy and nice that is back there. So cool. Been going for about an hour. I think we've probably gone about at least 10 miles, 15 miles almost. He's gonna make it happen. The birds. Wrong turn. We're at a dead end. We gotta head back, back and around. How cool is that right there? You got the sand dunes breaking through the fog. Still super foggy and we're almost at the spot. I've been going for about an hour and 15 right now. 14 miles distance traveled. And we're gonna go around this point and then there should be some mangroves. But this is a super cool area. Shallow water, it's only seven feet deep here. But it looks like we're getting some mangroves off the point here, past these sand dunes. So almost ready to start fishing, but we're gonna get to the right spot. Kill the engine, pass up these mangroves, paddle around. That's what the solo skiff's all about right here. Solitude. No bites yet, just gonna keep searching. But I'm rolling with the motor off, so I'm stealth. Where's that snook, that Roballo? Using just a white plastic with a chartreuse head lead head, 3 8 ounce on that spinning Shimano. Neck save, the Dilly Customs rod. Fire the motor back up, keep cruising. Slow troll the uh, Rapala. Take my little mini Rapala here. Got this really, really cool little bay back here. There's the sand, the island, and then the Pacific Ocean is on the other side of that some mangroves but i haven't seen any really much surface action and then i got some bait dead bait that's like half dead spinning around i was able to grab one that i might cut up and use but i'm gonna mash around explore a little bit see if i can see some fish on the surface or i haven't been marking any on the meter we're in really shallow water six seven feet deep I'm gonna get back out of this little pocket of mangrove area that I was going back into. 
here and I'm gonna make my way around this outside area through there. So here's what I'm talking about with the dead bait. Dead sardine. Something's going on with the water. Not good. For bait dying. Look at that, he swam right into my hand. Just all this bait is dying. Pretty sad. But I've gone about 20 miles so far. Haven't gotten a bite yet. Trolling the Rapala now. I saw one other guide boat cruise through. They fished one point, looked like they were fly fishing. Seen the shrimp boats here, the local shrimp boats, and then whatever's going on with the bait. Haven't really seen any big fish blowing up, but I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna go to the down to the end where the sand is at, pull ashore, fly the drone, and then start making my way back. These birds are chasing a bait ball. Now I just saw some bait on the surface. Is that this right here? I don't know, but we came 25 miles to get to this point. So we gotta go 25 miles back. Solo skiff and the mercury is just doing work. But I gotta do work, get on some fish. Oh, I saw a little needle fish, something different. But I'm gonna go ahead, post up here, fly the drone and then make my way back. Dang, it's like quicksand here. Gnarly. Crazy how soft the sand is. My feet sunk in like a foot deep up there. Up to my chin. Dang. Quicksand area here. All right, this is the spot, drone flight time. Time to get out of this quicksand and back to the launch. See how far down my feet go? Getting it. Okay. The motor up. And we are back on our way. We're gonna fish the whole way back. The tide's moving this way. 
So I'm gonna fish, since the tide's going this way, I'm gonna fish the front side of these islands here, these mangrove islands. See what I can make happen. Starting with this one right here. I'm gonna keep throwing my plastic, throw my Rapala, throw the crocodile a little bit. Praying for some fish. I launched just after 7 a.m., maybe closer to 7.30. I did 25 miles to get to this point. What's going on with these birds? Nothing. They're diving over there, the pelicans. Let's go see what's up with that. All right, there it is. I caught a fish, a mackerel. Yeah. I'll keep this for bait, chop it up. Use it for chunk bait. See, it looks like there's fish right on the bottom here. So what I'm gonna do, chunk it up, put it on the crocodile. Mackerel Mike, check that out. Foul hook to sardine. One of those dead sardines. Whole bunch of bait right here. Let's see if there's anything below it on the bottom. Let's go. I want that snapper. I want that snook. Check that out. Hook him tree branches. Not a good thing. All right. Coming back. I went on the other side coming here. Try to go on this side here. And ties dropping out I'm gonna have to walk it oh man lots of work but here we go all right I'm gonna go ahead and fish the bottom here I was marking some stuff I'm gonna put the piece of mackerel on my I already have my croc tied up crocodile candy bar Current's ripping. Bait ball here. That's what those birds were on. Come up to the corner. All right, I'm just gonna let it sink down and drift it and bounce it along the bottom. Man, my jig is drifting faster than the boat. They got really. I didn't think I would need to get it out front. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not marking fish anymore though. Got too shallow again and got greedy. I don't know this area well enough. I had to pull the motor up and I'm paddling now. We're out of the mangroves. I'm gonna go fish the bay up here. Got a paddle, 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 Grom. Paddle, paddle, paddle. That's the beauty about the solo skip right here. Shallow water. I'm probably deep enough to put the motor down, but it's nice to paddle a little bit too. Bunch of local shrimp boats right here, all these guys. I think that's what it is, shrimp. I don't know. There's all these traps set. It was like Louisiana when they had the shrimp traps. 1.7 feet. like a trawler right there, a Mexican trawler boat. Next up, we're gonna hit this buoy, then hit the buoy on the other side, and then go back in, meet Bill with his boat. Got one. Let's see what it is. Feels a little nicer. Got off. Dang! All right, so I switched it up and I'm fishing this jig right here. It's almost like a diamond jig. The 
it's like a tube jig or whatever. Though I'm using the sardines that I scooped up earlier that were all dying. And I've gotten a couple bites, but I can't get them to stick and stay on all the way up to land them. So I'm gonna keep working it and going back to the same spot that I just got bit at. And let's see if we can make it happen. I'm marking some fish. Let's see. Come on now. Last one felt nice too. Like it was a bigger fish, but got me. All right, that's it. That's all for my first day here in Mag Bay. It yeah, went up 25 miles up to the mangrove area. Got one mackerel trolling the crocodile and hooked a dead sardine because there's all sorts of dead sardines floating around. Then I came back in here and dropped on the bottom with some of those sardines around these buoys on the edges of the boat channel. Couldn't get it to stick. And then now I'm gonna make my way back into the launch over here and supposedly Bill's gonna be testing out the Mako that he was working on today, the Mako 22. So hopefully he's got that running and tomorrow we'll head offshore with that marlin and all the pelagic fish. I'm blessed, I'm loving it. Look at how beautiful this is. Woohoo! SD fishing sips here in Baja. Day one over. Let's make it back. Signing off. Yeah.